What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on for Blender that automatically sets up mirroring for modeling of symmetrical objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've already got a video where we talked about using the mirror modifier to model symmetrical objects. There's a lot of value in here, but it can be a little bit frustrating to get it set up. Right? Like, let's say, for example, I wanted to use a mirror modifier with this box. So if I was to add a mirror modifier right now, right, there's stuff you have to do. You have to, like, get it aligned. So you have to tab into edit mode. Then you have to get everything aligned so that it's symmetrical. Or you have to come in here and add an edge loop like this. And then delete out your extra vertices. Like this in order to get started modeling, which for a simple box like this, you know, not that big of a deal. There's a lot of value to being able to do that. Um, but the setup process, especially if you're dealing with something a little more complex, can be a little bit frustrating. Luckily, there's an add on built into Blender called Auto Mirror. And so, what Auto Mirror is going to do is if you go to Edit Preferences and you look for Auto Mirror, and you enable it, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to set all of this up automatically. So we're going to enable this. This should be built into your Blender, so you don't have to go download anything or anything like that. But, and let's jump over into solid mode. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to edit this cube. Well, what I can do is I can tap the N key on your keyboard and then go up to edit. Notice how there's an option here for auto mirror. And so what auto mirror is going to do is that's going to allow you to select a direction, right, X, Y, or Z. And then once you do that, you can click on the button for auto mirror and it's going to set up the mirror modifier for you. Now, that doesn't look all that impressive until you tab into edit mode and you notice that that actually came in here and it split your object automatically as well. So what that means is that means that instead of me having to come in here and get everything aligned and all of that, it just did it automatically. And the cool thing about this is this will, this will do this for more complex shapes as well. So let's say for example, that I wanted this to be a symmetrical object that I could, uh, that I could edit along the X or the Y axis. What I could do is I could just click on Y with this object selected, click on auto mirror and notice that actually comes in here and that sets up your mirroring for you automatically. So now if I wanted to come in here and make some changes, right? Notice how this is all set up in here. So I don't have to make any other changes or anything like that. It just sets up that mirror modifier for you really quickly inside of Blender. And then say you wanted to bring in an even more complex shape like the monkey. So I could bring the monkey in. And again, I could just set up auto mirror like this and notice how that came in here and this actually set this all up for me. And so now this is all set up and ready for you, for you to do your symmetrical editing with the mirror function. Now, one thing to note about this, because this question shows up a lot, um, if, you want the, if you want to finalize this geometry after you make a change, so let's say, for example, that I was to come in here and let's just make part of the ear bigger and we'll move it over. So nothing big, um, just like a minor change like this, right? So bigger ear. Then if I go back and I take a look at this in solid mode, I want to finalize this so it's no longer um, a mirrored object. I can just come over into my modifier settings and click on apply right here. So now it's no longer mirrored geometry using a modifier anymore. Now it's finalized geometry that you could texture, you could export it into an external software, other things like that. So this seems really simple, but it's actually a pretty big time saver and it just makes your life a lot easier. I'm going to link to a video on this page with 20 more awesome free add-ons that are built into Blender so that you can check those out as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.